this is Joe with Valley Marine, and today's actually a really exciting day for us. We are introducing one of our newest Northwest built brands, Thunderjet. We're really excited to have Thunderjet on board. They give us a nice product at a very affordable price, have some really nice features. We're going to go over some of those today and kind of get you guys familiar with the Thunderjet product. This is a 2021 Thunderjet Luxor 210. Uh, the Luxor 210 went through a little bit of a redesign for 2021, made the bottom width a little bit wider, the boat a little bit wider, and we really like the results of what they've done with this boat. I'm standing here at the bow of this 210 Luxor, and as you can see, you have some different options as far as the actual tops on this boat. Standard on the boat's gonna be a full canvas package with the drop curtain across the back. You can go up to this option here, which is considered the half top option, or you can do a full top option on the Luxor. A lot of nice options as far as those go, but this here, we're gonna focus on the half top option since we are looking at this boat. When you're looking at the Thunder Jets, you do get some other things that are optional. Lots of options on this boat, so we are going to discuss those. This has got what they call the two-third paint option. So you're going to have the two top sections be painted. Standard is going to be just the top section with the raw aluminum across the two bottom sides. And then you're going to have the custom matched uh, black top to match the side paints as well, if you do go with that hard top. As we move back, you can see you have a couple of slider windows here. You've also got some rocket launcher rod holders on the side, powder coated black, makes it look really nice on the black finish. And then you've also got your grab handle back here, which is really nice. And over on the other side, there is a net holder that is welded onto that grab handle. So nice features as far as the Thunder Jet goes. Moving towards the stern of the boat, you're gonna notice that it does have the elevated rails across the back. You've got your downrigger brackets. Everybody really likes the downrigger brackets, gives it a little bit easier customization as far as getting this boat ready to fish. And we're going to come around and take a look at the transom next. So now we're standing at the transom of the 210 Luxor by Thunderjet, and we're going to look at how we package this boat up. As you can see here, we have the kicker bracket on the same plane as the main motor. That's a prime indication that this boat has the remote controls up at the helm, which this boat does. Uh, really nice, makes it really easy to be able to control that kicker via a tie bar between the two motors when it's back here on the actual offshore bracket itself. Looking underneath here, you're going to notice that the boat does have a continuous continued running surface underneath the offshore bracket. On Thunderjet that is option, but we do put that on all of the boats that we have in for stock, but I do want you to be aware that that is option, so if you're talking about doing a custom order, that's one of the things that you're going to want to take a look at. We did power this boat with a Mercury 200 horsepower. This is the V6 Merc. We're absolutely in love with this power plant. Uh, Merc did a really good job when they redesigned these motors a couple years ago, and this 200 is no exception. Uh, paired with the stainless steel prop, it's really going to grip the water up, ride out of the water really easy. As we move over to the starboard side of the boat, you're going to see one of the Northwest built characteristics here, transom door. Everybody wants a transom door these days. It makes it really easy to access in and out of the boat, especially when you're stepping down from the dock through the, the offshore bracket and into the uh, actual cockpit of the boat here. And you do get a really nice boarding ladder on here as well. It's an undermount boarding ladder. Some of our other manufacturers, they have it either on top of the offshore offshore bracket or it's actually standing up here vertically on the side of the offshore bracket but Thunderjet went with this one to be a little bit more inconspicuous underneath and gives you a little bit extra room getting in and out of the boat but it is a really decent size boarding ladder so it's got the four step boarding ladder got a grab handle to get inside this boat and that's what we're going to do and take a look. So now we're inside the 210 Luxor and we're standing here at the transom and I really like a lot of things about how Thunderjet does the transom of the Luxor. Um, number one, your fishing deck has tons of room back here. You could get four people back here very comfortably. Number two, they give you the transom door like we talked about before. Number three, they give you this really nice size fish box back here. So this fish box actually pops open here gives you tons of room to put anything that you want inside there. You can see on this particular model that we do have the optional live well in here as well too. The other thing that Thunderjet does really well is they give you locking compartments on just about everything in their boat. You can actually lock this compartment up top. Your in-floor fish box is lockable as well too. So that's gonna be right down inside there. All of your compartments to get into the actual back of the boat, these are all gonna have some locking compartments and easy to access. Just take that, flip it to the side, that whole 
piece comes off, you'll be able to access there, put whatever you want in and out of there. As you look at the top of the gunnels here, you're going to notice a couple of nice things as well. Tackle fence across the back. If you put anything under here when you're fishing and you hit a wave, it's not going to have the ability to roll off. It's going to go up against that tackle fence and save your gear. They also give you an area for a couple of tools right over here on the side. Kind of unique as far as Thunderjet goes. We're not seeing that on some of the other manufacturers that we carry. And you've also got some cup holders back here with some storage trays. So they do a little extra here, weld on these pieces across the sides, give you some more, you know, ability to store some of your stuff, have your beverage ready to go right here next to your rods, your downrigger, and just uh, overall a really nice transom. Now we're in the cockpit of the 210 Luxor by Thunderjet. And as you can see, we took off the backdrop curtain. Once you do that, it actually really opens up this area. On those spring, summer days when the weather's really nice or even a nice fall day like today, very comfortable inside here uh, to be able to maneuver around and just makes it feel like a lot more space inside the boat. Uh, again, this has got the half hard top on it. Some of the features are a couple of grab handles up top. And one of the things that I like here is that it's got two really big track LED lights across the top here. So when you turn your courtesy lights on on this boat, it is going to give you a lot of uh, light inside here. Again, front piece, half hard top. This is completely removable. If it is one of those summer or spring days where you want to get a little extra sunlight inside the cockpit of the boat, very easy to do. Just unsnap, unzip, and this whole piece comes off. But if you're just looking for access into the bow area, you got a couple of zippers here, snaps across the bottom, fold that back and you'll be able to access the bow really easily. Over here on the port console, cup holders, two of them. Again, lockable club, glove compartment here. And then you've also got a fishing seat with a couple of armrests for the passenger, one for the driver and some in-floor storage. So not only do you get a storage compartment down here between the two seats, you also have some storage up here in the front. And there is a couple of battery trays inside here because we ordered this boat in with the bow mount pre-rig. And when you look at the dash of this boat here, you're gonna notice all backlit instrumentation across here. You've got your main controls as well as your kicker controls just below it. So really nice package. We're gonna go put this thing on the water, do a couple of drive-bys and let you guys see how it actually performs.